this neighborhood just to show you the typical new neighborhood some buildings are being constructed some buildings are already inhabited here there is the kindergarten and behind it there will be a school There are a lot of playgrounds here, sport grounds. So the roads are very narrow, though this neighborhood is new. Buses here, uh, sometimes, not everywhere, but sometimes buses have special lanes. Only buses can use these lanes. That is why it is quicker to get somewhere by bus. Here you may buy fruit. Here there is also a small vegetable shop. This one is a supermarket, grocery store. The big playground for kids. That is a must in a modern neighborhood. My friends live in this house. You may see it right now. They live somewhere there, in the middle. <laughs> So we shall park somewhere here. That is the main alley. People in the evening walk here. This green box is for garbage. <laughs> the main alley of this neighborhood a lot of flowers everywhere, very peacefully. So in the evening there are a lot of people here. They <laughs> play cards, they play chess, they communicate. That is the main problems of any big city. It doesn't matter Russian city or foreign city. People do not communicate with each other in the real life. They just in social nets, in any social nets, and in YouTube, in the internet. So everybody is online constantly, but they do not meet in the real life. That is a big problem. Because in the real life it is more difficult to communicate with people. Over there, the green trees, that is the national park, Lassini Ostrov. A very big national park. In winter, people ski there. It is very popular here to ski. The bus stop very close to the house. So, that is another neighborhood for you, just to have a look. <laughs> I like such videos when people show streets, when people show their towns. From time to time I follow some bloggers on 
YouTube. Um, they are mostly from America. Uh, I watch bloggers from California, uh, from Florida, and from New York. And also I watch an English blogger. Uh, she is from Manchester. So they are all Russians and they are all girls. Uh, they married uh, foreigners and moved to other countries, to America, to England, and they show their life. Oh, Labrador, you see, guys? <laughs> the black Labrador. He is like Sheffield. Or she, I don't know. Is it he or she? He. The black Labrador. Yeah. The old one. Yeah. It's just hot for them now. And I like the videos when people show their roads, when they show their shops. It is very interesting to watch how people live. And in my videos I also try to show you the roads, try to show you our shops. So hope that is interesting for you. If you like this, support this with your thumbs up. This is also the national park, very close to the buildings, as you may see. That is the part of national park, Lassini Ostrov. If you watch on Google map, you will see that that is a very huge national park with real animals, wild animals, a lot of wild animals in that park. In winter, I also go there to ski. This winter was not snowy, that is why we did not go much to ski, but I like mountain skiing and I like ordinary skiing in the forest. Any modern house is equipped with such ramps. For disabled people and for people with pramps, you see, they are everywhere here, at the entrance of every building. The problem of such small districts, such small cities, is that there is no much work here. You must go to Moscow to work and then return. And when you go to Moscow and when you return, you have a lot of traffic jams. So even if you live very close to Moscow, sometimes it can take about two or three hours to get to your office and back. Not very convenient. That is a small hospital, but it does not work yet. I think it is so nice when you come home, return home from work, from office, and near the entrance to your house, you see such a wonderful flower bed. The bees are flying over there. You see, over that red flowers. These flowers are very, very cheap. I grow such flowers on my balcony. <laughs> they are very cheap. When the flower dies, this one will be dry in a few days. And then you may plant these seeds and grow such flowers.
that is the electricity box. The rain cloud is very close. You see? Ah, wanted to show you this box. That is the water. So that is the special stand for drinking water. You may use big bottles for 20 liters, yeah, and you may also bring small bottles, five liter bottles here. You put this bottle here and you pay. You may pay by cash and also if you have a special card, there will be a discount for you and one liter will be only five rubles. For those who have these cards, one liter is five rubles. For those who uh, don't have such cards, six rubles per liter. Not very expensive. The district is new, that is why they do not have school. And those children who live in this district, they go to another city. But now it is summer. In summer all the children have holidays here till the 1st of September. On the 1st of September every child of school age goes to school on the 1st of September. <laughs> Love that thing, sledge. <laughs> that white swan is made of tires, car tires. Yeah? Those trees, guys, uh, pine trees, that is uh, the national park, which is called Lassini Ostrov. Over there also, Lassini Ostrov National Park. These uh, three houses, this one, that one, and that one, uh, these are concrete houses. They are more expensive than other houses on the background. You may see them. They are from panels and this one are concrete. <laughs> An adult is driving a scooter. During the daytime there are not many cars, but at night all this is absolutely packed. At 12 o'clock it is almost impossible to park your car here. There is also a big, I don't know whether you see it or not, over there, uh, behind uh, that uh, white and red building, uh, there is uh, a private parking lot. You pay per month. When this uh, neighborhood was new, <laughs> that parking lot was not very popular, the private, I mean, because everyone parked for free. <laughs> but now it is a problem where to park the car. That is why even on the private parking, all the places are occupied. Let me show you guys how uh, this device works with iPhone, how my camera works with iPhone. I have already connected uh, camera to my iPhone uh, with um, some special program. I so it is not good. The quality is not good, but still I think you will understand. Now I shall move the camera, and you will see that the picture is also moving. So now I think it is a little bit uh, more clear. Here there is no display, but when it is recording, let me show you. Now it is switched off. So you must press this button. And when the recording starts, this blue button begins to blink. That is the button to switch off Wi-Fi. So.
and when the battery dies, uh, this blue color turns into red. So you may watch, it is purple, then it is uh, red, purple, then it is red. That means that your battery is dead. Uh, this is my Nikon Coolpix camera, photo camera, so let's compare the quality. During the whole year, the village Tushonova lives a normal, ordinary life. And only two days in July, the festival is going on here. This festival gathers a lot of people from different cities of Russia.